country on Froggy 101. What is up, guys? I am Crockett. I am here with Brantley Gilbert live in the studio. What's going on, brother? See, all week everybody thought I was lying. They were like, you don't know Brantley Gilbert. Brantley Gilbert didn't call you and he's not coming. Well, they don't know me like you do. <laughs> uh, hey, isn't that a song? We're going to talk with Brantley Gilbert coming up. But first, it's your new song. Do you know how to speak into your first song? I do. Uh, this song's really important to me. I think anytime you go out fighting for your life, fighting your country, it's, uh, it's one hell of a name, man. Man. Perry, better dig two. Today's best country. It's Froggy 101. I'm joined here with Brantley Gilbert, actually live in person. That's right. What's going on? Let's go. I'm telling you what. We're all talking here. Everybody's talking. And you said you had a birthday party because you turned 30 That's last right. Monday. Dirty 30. The dirty 30. So what happened on the dirty 30? Anything good? Well, my fiance threw a surprise birthday party for me and almost shot 30 of my closest friends. That's good. <laughs> Very good. That's a good birthday. It was. Sort of you stuff. shot the clown and everybody else made it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting people to be at that. Like, for once in my life, like, I never get surprised because everybody around me knows that I hate it and I do crazy things when oh. you scare me. So that's good. So a surprise party for the man that's great. Yeah. <laughs> From the one person that can get away with it. I'd, I'd be mad at my mom for throwing a surprise party, but she can get away with it and she did it. But it, it turned out pretty good. Some people brought me some Tannerite and we shot it and, like... Like I was telling you, like our small towns, like me and her in the stop sign, and six people called 911. They thought a bomb went out. They were saying there was power outages, which that was a lie. I don't power went out. <laughs> and the sheriff called first your friends to make sure it was you. Yeah, the sheriff called uh, my neighbor to see if it was us or if she needed to send some guys out to check it out. Again, the sheriff called first. Yeah, the sheriff called to make sure there was, there was problems going on. We're Facebook friends. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to be friends with the sheriff <laughs> of right. the town. That's right. So speaking of your fiance, she teaches, what was it, third, fourth, and fifth grade? Wow. God bless her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, does that make you guys want to have kids? Eventually. Not right Eventually. now, but... but down the road. Eventually, yeah. She says I'm going to be putty. What does that mean? What does putty mean? You're going to be just be a like, in the mud? With, well, the way I treat Silo, like, I'm, I love my dog, right? And he can't do a whole lot wrong. Like, if he does, like, he does something. It's like he's a pit bull, but he's cute as hell. I don't know how that works. But his head's like freaking mad. He's just awesome. And she says I let him get away with anything. I'm just going to be worse for kids. <laughs> Is this, this true? Yeah. It's all true. Now, do you get to visit the classroom? Do the kids know who you are? Um, they wouldn't let me. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, let's just take a quick look. You got about eight chains. I don't think you make it through the metal detector. Dude, uh, my, my guitar player had a, a baby shower the other day, and I got to go to Baby's R Us, which is a really cool store if you've never been. I don't even... But they did not, like, the old women in there thought I was there to, like, steal a baby. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, it was like, what is this guy? This is creepy. I'm telling you, I, don't I just need a car seat. I don't want to. I don't want to seem like a stick in the mud. But my mom saw you. She's like, mm, that boy's up to no good. That's right. I but I'm, too. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually well behaved now. I've, I have mellowed through the years. Through the years, you're only thirty. You still got thirty, at least thirty more. Yeah, but I got like seventy-eight years of experience. I, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. So, so you're. You, we're making lots of sense here. Yeah, no. So you got lots of tattoos. Mm. Does your fiance have any tattoos? She's getting her first one February twenty third. Is she getting her name, your name tattooed on her face? Or something. She doesn't know that yet. Oh. <laughs> but I booked this guy for the whole day, and he's gonna do like my back, and he's gonna do a small one for her. But I've got him like until the next day, so when she falls asleep. Are you gonna do it in Georgia? <laughs> yeah. No, I was going to say, if you're doing it here, I'll go with you, and I'll get a tattoo. Well, you got to come to Georgia anyway, because we got to blow stuff up. Because I've never shot a gun. That's right. Well, you have shot a gun. Right. You said you shot a pistol. And then you made fun of me for not liking cats. <laughs> I did not make fun of you. I told you I had a cat. I shot a dog. Well, I did what? See, this is what you're missing out, not being here. You've shot a dog. You protect cats. We're going to come back to you. We're going to come back. All right, let's, let's go ahead and straighten this out. I, I'm a dog lover. I mean, cats are okay, but I'm a dog lover. I shot the dog because I had to. I had to. He warned the neighbors. The dog had it coming. It was rabid, foaming at the mouth. Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back. We're going to answer some fan questions and we'll talk more with you, Brent. Like, oh, that sounds good, brother. Let's do it. Lee Bryce is drinking class. Today's Best Country, Froggy 101. Back with Brantley Gilbert. You picked your microphone up because you keep talking to everybody when we're not on air in your microphone. I, I want to make sure they can hear me. Uh, loud and clear. <laughs> so, 
So we, right before we jumped back on, we were talking about hairstyles. You don't grow your, your hair out long, but you said your dad cut... <laughs> <laughs> Your dad, your dad, however, cuts his own back. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, my dad, yeah, it's, I moved him up to my farm in Alabama, and he works there and lives there full time now, and I think Alabama's just rubbing off on him slowly but surely. And he, how does his bangs look? Well, he cut them off, and he, <laughs> he grew everything else out. He's actually growing them out now, though, so it's saved. I think it, I, I called several people and was like, hey, if y'all go to the farm this week, just encourage him to let the front grow. <laughs> you know, because I want him to do whatever he wants, but I don't want him to, do, maybe not that much. Would you let him cut your hair? No. Oh, <laughs> real quick, didn't even think about that one. And this joker, I thought he was going to kill me when I got my ears pierced, and then he, he called me one night, he said, you ain't going to believe ass. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I think you're right, but go ahead and shoot. He said, I'm just going to send you a picture. I said, all right. Well, he's, the, he sends me a picture, and he got his ears pierced, but the, they're, they're studs. Oh. What? There, what did you say? You can't say that on the radio. <laughs> Wait, he got he got studs. Yeah. I, yeah. Like diamond studs. Yeah. So he looks like a rapper. Uh, no. Nah. Maybe you guys could do a little. If it weren't for the mullet, he, maybe. <laughs> he's bringing. It. He's not gonna like break out mad beats or nothing. No, Is that how they say it? <laughs> Sounds right. Mad beats. He's gonna drop the bass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let's jump. Not about hairstyle. Let's get let's get some Facebook questions uh, from Laura McMahon. She said, uh, "What's your experience doing the USO shows?" Ah, uh, you know, uh, that's that's a serious note. Um, the USO experience is like you, you really can't understand it until you go do it. Because I had a lot of people tell me, "Oh man, it's going to change your life. You're going to see some things that that you've never seen before." And it's just, it, and it's it's hard to explain, but. Man, I, I do remember that one of the most, one of the craziest things about it was, you know, our troops were so appreciative that we were over there. And it was like an honor for us to get to go. Like, we wanted to go for, for two or three years and could never get the means to get over there and do it. But, I mean, they were so appreciative that we were bringing a little bit of home to them. And that just, you know, that, that fueled my fire for support for our military. Plus, it's got to be cool. Like, you're going way out there and these people like you're their only bit of fun for like maybe just how long two hours tops yeah we put on we, we were playing about 90 minutes and uh we spent some time doing some meet and greets and stuff i after every show we stayed till the whole base came through and and signed everything they had and shook hands with them I, I, i'm telling you man it, it was a life-changing experience to say the least um but it was uh it was wild man if, if anybody it's a chance to ever do that. Take off. It's cool uh, stuff. My brother just got out of Air Force, and anytime there's like this little bit of home, yeah. it means the world to those guys. Yeah. Uh, a question that I actually really liked, and I actually really wanted to ask. Krista asks, is, "What food is always on the bus? Is there a food that just cannot leave the bus?" Oh, we're pointing. You're pointing to your fiance who's Look, chuckling. Yeah, I don't know why she's chuckling. What's so funny? <laughs> are you talking about mac and cheese? No. What are you talking about? Junk. junk. Uh, yeah, I like junk. Well, you were just saying you need to get back in the gym. What's the junk food of choice? Macaroni and cheese. Fat. Mm. That's not fat. That's dairy. No. Oh. That's healthy. That's at the top of the pyramid, I think. I like Oreos. <laughs> and like oatmeal cream pies. Y'all like them things? I hate oatmeal cream pies. He does. <laughs> I hate oatmeal cream pies. Do you really? Awful. You probably like like the, the little brownies with the nuts in them. I let, no, I like the ones with the sprinkles. <laughs> well played, sir. Uh, well played. I wish I was listening to this right now. <laughs> you people that are listening, you're so lucky. I assume you're just not. I wish I was listening. Oh, I'm, gl I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard you were on some other tours and you were on some other interviews. And I heard, oh, they're all so prepared. And I've got this chicken scratch and I've hit like one note so far. Yeah, but we're having fun. So it's okay. Wonderful. I got one more question before yeah. we wrap it up. Favorite movie? Is it Ghostbusters 2? <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite movie. Really? I was shooting there. I was hoping. <laughs> that was my last ditch effort to have something come. Yeah, well, I got a few favorite movies, man. But I, I like like what kind of movie? Cause you, just favorite movie in general. Scarface is awesome. 
Snow but I like, I like, I mean, but then again, you got like the man from Snowy Rivers, like a classic old cowboy movie. And then, you know, I mean, Lonesome Dove is a good movie. I like it too. But then I went to see American Sniper this past week. And I know it's taking a lot of heat and uh, the hell with all that. That movie's I awesome. That. I'm a huge believer in that guy. I appreciate everything he did for this country. You know, I mean, that's, uh, that dude's over there protecting our freedom and, and I think documenting and highlighting something, a, a life like his, I think, deserves a spotlight. So I'm glad they made the movie and I don't really agree with anybody that sees anything wrong with it. So. I agree 100%. <laughs> if you don't want to be here, get out. That's later. right. Bye. So, really good. <laughs> there you go. Me and you are going to run for president and vice president. No, we're not. We're not. I can't. I get- that's way too. I almost had a panic attack just then, just thinking about that. You're sweating. You've been real aggressive with me. I have not. <laughs> Has anybody seen me be violent or aggressive in this room? I didn't see anything. You did not. <laughs> see that? <laughs> She's telling a story. Mm, I believe it. I do too. <laughs> really, Gilbert. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for speaking by. We're going to have this up on the website. I don't know what got on air and what didn't on the video camera, but I'll make sure to edit to make me look good. Oh, hey. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much for swinging by. Appreciate it, brother. Like this.